Hey guys, Kimmy Vapes here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bulldog sub -ohm Tank by Desire Design Tech. Let's have a vape. Go down below and see what it comes with. Okay, and here it is. The Bulldog sub -ohm Tank by Desire Design. This product was sent to me for the purpose of this review. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what comes with the Bulldog sub -ohm Tank. So when you first open up the box, you're going to see your warranty card and your Desire Design Bulldog user manual. Here we have the Bulldog sub -ohm tank with a coil pre-installed. Then we have a spare 3ml straight glass, spare silicone o-rings, and a spare tri-coil coil head. This tri-coil coil, coil head is called the BCC triple coil. It is a 0.2 ohm coil head rated 80 to 130 watts. Best is 100 to 120 watts. And then here is the Bulldog sub ohm tank. I currently have installed the 0.18 ohm mesh coil head, which is a recommended 50 to 110 watts or best 60 to 80 watts. And I will say that 60 to 80 watts is probably the only place I would run it. It really does perform best between those wattages and you can even run it lower. I was running it at 50 watts and I found it still performed pretty good. So getting into the dimensions of the tank, this is a 25 millimeter sub ohm tank. The height of this sub ohm tank is 49 millimeters tall. The straight glass holds 3 mLs of e-liquid and the bubble glass holds 4.3 mLs of e-liquid. You do have an air slot on both sides of the tank. It is on a stopper and whatever you do to the airflow control ring on one side, it does to the other. Here at the top, you do have a removable 810 drip tip. However, this drip tip does have the O-ring on the stem of the drip tip and no O-ring on the inner side of the catch cup. So make sure when using other drip tips, you're using drip tips with an O-ring there on the base of the 810. Also, something to point out is that there is this small lip on top of the cut catch cup which with the included drip tip when you press it down it does cover that lip because the underside of your drip tip here is cut out and has that metal ring that falls down over top of that lip. Taking a closer look at that drip tip you can see it's beveled on the inside which is quite strange that they're designing a drip tip this way the way it comes in and instead of the material going straight down or at an angle they actually have a bevel inside of there one of my favorite features of this tank is the slide open top fill with the knurled side being the side that you push on so you just simply push it to open and it is very stiff there's no way that this is going to slide open in your pocket because it does have a very stiff slide to it. And there you can see your fill port. Very nice size fill port. On the other side you do have that same angle but it is not knurled and that is how you can tell through tactile sensation which side to push on. To remove or install a coil, we'll simply twist the base here and then you'll see here. Here is a coil and I've been using this coil for quite some time now. I would say I put about 100 plus mLs of e-liquid through this. And honestly, I say 100 plus is because I really lost count after pushing an entire 100 milliliters through this coil head. This is the mesh coil head and I gotta say these mesh coil heads really do last a long time and provide some really good flavor. So to uninstall the coil head, you'll simply twist it out. And then there is the base which you'll screw the new coil head into. You can remove your bubble glass. It just pops on. They are held on by silicone o-rings at the top and the bottom base. So we're going to go ahead and use the trial coil. Now I will say I've been vaping on this for well over a month. Desire Design Tech was very nice to include an entire four pack of Bulldog mesh coils. So I've been using only the mesh coils because I find I really like the performance of their mesh coils. 
but I figure for the recording of the download, I'll go ahead and install the other. So as you can see here, yes, I have used a coil out of this one and then also the coil that came pre-installed. So that's two coil heads and about a month of use on that tank. So let's go ahead and install the tri-coil into that base. And I'm going to go ahead and fill the tank up with the Vinyl and Vapor Deep Cut Side B Dragon Shake today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of e-liquid on top of the cotton and then on each side of the fill port here. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and place my tank back on. And give it a turn. Once that's seated tightly, I can go ahead and push open the top and go ahead and fill this. And there we go. It's filled and I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll have a vape on it and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. All right, and that was an up close look at the Bulldog Sub Ohm Tank by Desire Design. So, what are my thoughts? I am in love with this Sub Ohm Tank. Let's go over the pros. Fit and finish, awesome. Love the fit and finish of this tank. I would say the only thing about the fit and finish is that they use silicone O-rings throughout the entire tank. And silicone, we know, breaks down quicker than rubber. So it probably would have even been better if they did rubber O-rings instead of silicone O-rings. But really, I've had no problems with any of the silicone O-rings so far. But I've only had this tank for a month. Now I have been vaping on this tank for a full month. I've went through two coil heads completely and then I'm now on my third coil head, that being the tri-core round wire coil head. The next pro I have for this is going to be the 4.3 ml capacity bubble tank and then the 3 ml straight glass tank. I love the juice capacity on this. I, I mean, you could always go bigger, I guess, but 4.3 mLs is just enough for me. I do have to fill it multiple times a day, but keep in mind, I vape a lot. So the fact that it is 4.3 milliliters is a big plus because any less than that, and I would be filling this tank a lot. Next pro is going to be the five colors that you have to choose from so you get plenty of color options another pro another really big pro and the reason why i rave about this sub ohm tank is the flavor and the airflow on this tank so the flavor on both the mesh coil heads and the tricor coil heads is really good now i will say that i prefer the flavor on the mesh coil heads over the tricore coil heads i feel like the mesh gives you the most amount of flavor and vapor production though the tricore coil heads they're not lacking in vapor production at all the airflow is more than enough airflow than i would ever need i actually keep it cut down to about halfway open because fully open there's no restriction whatsoever and i like a little bit of restriction with my direct lung and closing off the airflow about halfway bumps up that flavor even more my next pro is going to be the intuitive fill port design the fact that they neural only one side of the sliding mechanism means that it's tactile and I don't have to look to know which side I need to push on. So there's been many a nights where I'm laying in bed in the dark watching TV and I need to refill my tank and I can just feel on the top of the fill port and know which side I need to slide it open, stick my bottle in the hole, squeeze, and I'm good to go. So big pro for that. Next pro is going to be surprisingly that it does not leak. Lately, especially with the mesh sub ohm tanks that have come out, I find that if you leave them sit overnight, they leak. Some of them leak a little, some of them leak a lot. Some of them just pour e-liquid out even after only sitting for a couple hours. I can attest that after a month full of using the sub ohm tank daily, leaving it sit on my desk overnight, leaving it sit for two or three days, that this thing has not leaked on me. Now I will say 
two or three days and I do get some condensation of e-liquid down in the airflow control ring and if I tip it over and shake it I can maybe get a drop of e-liquid but for regular normal everyday use this thing does not leak on me I can sit it on my nightstand at night full of e-liquid and the next morning wake up and vape it and there's no e-liquid coming out of my airflow control so I really love that they out that this sub ohm tank doesn't leak because it's true for me and the way that I use it it hasn't leaked on me now let's talk about cons I have one major con with this sub ohm tank and it's the drip tip of all the design things that they did with this sub ohm tank that I really like I mean they really put a lot of thought into the design of the sub ohm tank as well as the coil heads but that drip tip the fact that they have that little concave carve out on the inside of your drip tip and the lip at the top means that condensation builds up in your drip tip and it gets gross looking i mean really gross looking as your coil starts to get gunked up you see that nasty brown e-liquid on the inside of your drip tip and i don't like that the other problem the reason why the drip tip is a con is that they have that little lip on the catch cup so I can't use other drip tips on it without it looking a little weird so one of my favorite drip tips here is the recurve drip tip and as you can see if you use a drip tip that's bigger than that little catch, catch cup it's gonna look kind of weird with the overhang grab another drip tip here's a fitted one since this one does support drip tips with o-rings on the base of them and again just doesn't really look that great i wish they would not have put the lip on the catch cup i just feel like that limits your drip tip options and for me drip tip options are really important i have my favorite style of drip tips that i use and i like to be able to use all my 810 drip tips on all of my atomizers and i can't really do that with this one because of the way it looks now i will say visually the aesthetic on this drip tip i really think it's beautiful i just wish they wouldn't have beveled the inside like that and i wish they wouldn't have put a lip on the catch cup and that's my only con for this sub ohm tank i really do like it if you're looking for a new sub ohm tank definitely check out the bulldog by desire design tech thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not already click that subscribe button and if you are subscribed don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get notified the next time i upload a video thanks for watching you guys Bye bye